What's up, YouTube? Happy Friday. Welcome to another video here from Central North Carolina. I am Mr. Ferguson. Thank you for tuning in as we're back here at the Project Lawn. Uh, thank you for those that commented about the, the new mic setup. Um, we're going to be testing it again. I want to show you just how awesome this mic system, this DJI Microphone 2 is. Uh, but first, we've got a jam-packed video for you. We got some interesting things to present to you and talk about today. We're out here at my project lawn. For anybody new, just tuning in for the first time, uh, not only do I try to work on and film my own lawn at my home in Central North Carolina, but we're at my church. We've uh, Last year, we started this project lawn. Um, it, it started looking good. I put down some herbicide, kind of screwed it up. We kind of just let it go. Common Bermudas come in, weeds, we just kind of let it go. Recently, we brought out an aerator in September. We aerated it, core aerated, aerated it real well. We pre-germinated some Jonathan Green heavy traffic seed. It's a mix of rye and tall fescue. We put that down and we also put down some Jonathan Green fertilizer. Um, it was looking really good. We've had no rain here in Central North Carolina for a very long time. I mean, uh, since the hurricanes came, since Western North Carolina and all that have happened, we really haven't had any significant rainfall. Uh, so I've been on top of, I've had to, whoa, I'm way behind on watering out here. So I've had to water and we were bringing it back to life. So I did put down, as I mentioned, uh, I think the last video, I put down some protein out here the other day. We was here working on some sound system stuff at our church in our sanctuary for our live stream for the church. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna put down, I brought some of the starter for protein uh, from, and there's a reason why I brought that. I brought it a long time ago, but I put it down Monday night as I was watering some of these areas. So real fast, before we get into the soil test, that's right, the soil test has come back on this, uh, on this property, on this lawn, and I wanna show you guys. But before we get there, let me show you uh, what it's looking like right now as we're filming this. So here we go, guys. So um, it is looking pretty awesome. Um, we still continue to flourish in this section over here um, that is uh, you know, at the bottom of the hill, if you will. You can kind of see maybe the elevation there a little bit. Also, this is going off right now, this AC unit. Let me know how much that impacts. Obviously, I'll be able to hear it when I edit this, but uh, this DJI should with the uh, spatial noise canceling feature I've got on this thing, it should kind of uh, cancel that out a little bit. I hope it does. Back to the lawn. Uh, the color, I've got my sunglasses on. The color actually looks really good. I have been watering off and on uh, coming up here. I haven't mowed it since the, <laughs> the first mow, um, but you can see there's still dew on top of it. And I came up here to do the video, but also to check to see if I can mow it. And honestly, I don't think I don't think that I can uh, mow it today um, because I don't think that it's long enough. It, we may be able to cut just a little bit of the grass, but um, it's just not long enough to cut at this time. So the protein, that's one of the things. It's never been really bushy out here. So uh, as I show you this, you know, the color looks good. Uh, the water has definitely brought it back to life. Some of the ryegrass, it looked like it was dying off. It really does look like it's coming back to life. And uh, with the water pressure, as I mentioned before, for those that have been watching with the water pressure issue, you see the hose stretched out here. I had to stretch the hose all the way out and the water pressure somewhat returns to a reasonable level. Um, we still have these gaps right here in this section over here, and we still have gaps over here behind the hose that just don't want to fill in with the good grass. It's kind of, and remember one night I left on the, 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 the timer quit working, the orbit timer, and uh, we, we had water all night so this section has definitely been moist um, and last night at church I uh, threw the sprinkler over here and was uh, watering more but all in all I just wanted to show you it is looking better adding the water in and as temperatures begin to fall more and more in the morning time we're still we're getting up to 80 I think tomorrow on Friday <laughs> the day you're watching this we're supposed to be around 80 degrees um, it's it's insane um, it's just been an abnormally warm year um, November 1st, it's going to be 80 degrees in North Carolina. That's just absolutely crazy. But uh, you can see in the shadows, um, sort of, and, and as I walk out into the shadows, um, it's thick over in this general area, but I did throw down some protein, and uh, I think I'm just going to water again today. I'm not going to worry. I mean, if anything needs cut, it would be back here 
along this side and you can see the dark green. This was really lime green yesterday. Um, again, this back half doesn't get a lot of sunshine. Um, but anyways, we may uh, just water and then uh, we've got our bonfire. I've mentioned to you guys, our church bonfire, everybody's pitching in and helping out and it'll be out in this general area come Saturday. So that is the the goal was to get it in shape, get it looking good. And so if I don't mow it today, I might mow it tomorrow or Saturday morning. Uh, just, and I may bring my mower up here. We did have a guy in the church donate a mower, Mr. Ronnie, if he's watching, man, he is an awesome dude. Uh, but just to put the stripes on, I may bring my mower up here. So just wanted to show you the improvements of the lawn. The ryegrass seems to have popped back up with all this water. Uh, watering, it is well water. So it's the natural water from the ground. It's not chemical induced or anything from the city um, it is all well water so uh it is thickening up we just again we got patchy areas where it doesn't seem to fill in as much but it is you know that protein and everything is spurring some growth into it um, so anyways just wanted to show you all that so we're going to walk back over this way a little lighter color over here than over here but it is coming back to life and so this water man it looks a really good green color right here i hope it shows on camera it's a uh, tough when the sun's at the angle that it is but anyways so thin over here not really tall enough to really mow yet not thick enough but there is a lot of looks like the rye trying to pop up now so we just need to continue to water this looks a hundred times better and i hope that reflects on the video um, that you guys can tell just how much better this thing looks with proper watering so uh let's go over here to the tripod and i want to show you guys the soil test we're going to compare what we took in april and what we just got back recently so guys as i mentioned i don't know if you can see me in this shot but the quality and the range of this dji mic wireless mic 2 is insane uh, the range on this is absolutely insane i saw a guy testing it and as long as you got good line of sight with your camera uh the it works so far away which means you can do other things uh, with your hands when you have this thing clipped on but I just wanted to demonstrate that and show you just how awesome now we can walk up, have a conversation, do other things, be far away in the lawn and uh, show you. So that was really cool uh, when you have it on a tripod and you don't have to hold it in your hand. I thought that was cool. Just wanted to show you. So I'm going to move to one side or another. I'm going to go left. So I'm going to put it on what will be my right. And uh, the first thing I want to pull up here is I want to pull up the old soul test from the... Um, from april so here is the graph from april and that is from the lawn that we just showed you and uh, as you'll notice just looking we're not going to go into the old details about this the main things we're going to look at is the uh, macronutrients and the ph and as you see our ph was above uh, six the actual number to give you that was 6.02 so we were right at six in april of last year um, you see our n was super low uh, our P, which was our phosphorus, was almost non-existent. Our K was way higher than our, our phosphorus, which is surprising. And we were uh, pretty good on our sulfur um, and pretty good on iron. Uh, and, also, and some of our uh, micronutrients were pretty good as well. But we were basically low in everything. But we had successfully, with the Magical Plus, we did successfully get it up to a 6.0 back last April. So now I'm going to go backwards and I'm going to take down April. Now we're going to fast forward and let me show you what we're looking at with the soil, the same company. So uh, there's, there's always talk about, well, that soil test ain't great, but we're taking the same test and we're doing it at two different periods of time. So that's the best I can do to give me knowledge about where we are with the soil on this property. Let me bring it up. Here is the bar graph and you'll see we are in a much better shape uh, just by looking at this bar graph. Now, the one thing that stands out way over there to the right is the pH. The actual number they're saying is 6.8. So guys, if you had any doubt whatsoever, does the Magic Cow Plus from Jonathan Green actually work faster than Lime and get your pH levels high? Absolutely, this is proof of it. From last April, we've done two applications, if I'm not mistaken. We have jumped from a 6.02 to a 6.8. So now we need to stop. <laughs> we need to stop adjusting our pH and just let it and see where it's going to go naturally over the course of time. We're going to stay at that 6.8 and see if it will drop down a little bit more. But that is pretty cool. So does Jonathan, so does it work faster than Lime Alone as they told me previously? I would say absolutely yes. 
if our soil test uh, measurements have been accurately um, um, read, then we've jumped 0.8% in a, less than a year's time. Um, so that's pretty crazy. And I say last April, it's this past April. Um, but when we look at our N, P, and K, our sulfur is pretty much still the same. We've gotten our calcium up. A lot of that house has to do with the Magic Cal Plus as well. It is high calcium formulated. So that calcium has gotten us in the optimum level with our manganese, with our sodium, our iron is still good. Uh, all of our micronutrients are pretty good except boron, which we're not worried about. But at our big three, we're still under suboptimal. Now, this is why I put down the starter for protein on Monday. I saw this Monday, it came in, I looked at it, I said, let me go ahead and put down some protein starter for it. So we're still low on N, that's not an issue, but our P and our K, our phosphorus and our potassium are almost at optimum. So we are, we're looking way better than we did originally and we're looking way better than we did back in April. So the main thing I gather out of this is we made, we made a huge adjustment to our pH in a quick amount of time. So if you're suffering with high pH or very low pH, doing the Jonathan Green Magic Cow Plus for acidic soil or alkaline soil, depending on what you're dealing with, will make a difference in a quick period of time. And also, uh, we're just gonna keep feeding this thing starter fertilizer as needed um, until we get in those optimal ranges. I still have, I think, uh, one other my soil test, whether it's Yardmaster or whatever, we may do that later on in the spring of next year. But our soil test tells us we are making improvements, at least based on this, this latest one. We need to still continue to get our phosphorus up, We still need, which is gonna help with our root development, right? And then our potassium, which helps with stress, with the heat and everything like that. We can see signs that it is low. So we need to raise that up, I believe, adding the protein that I added in is definitely gonna help us with the nitrogen as well. We obviously know nitrogen drives the bus and promotes growth. So guys, we're looking good on the soil test. I wanted to show that to you, give you the good news. And as you saw, we're just gonna, today I'm just gonna water this thing a little bit more. Hopefully watering today will promote some growth and maybe I'll mow it tomorrow, maybe Saturday morning. We may just, it, we, it may not promote enough growth, but with this, um, protein starter for it, it may prompt some growth to where we can mow before the bonfire. So from the project line, pretty basic, pretty simple, but happy Friday to you. Let me know if you enjoyed this video. If you want to check out some of these products, check them out in the description below. If you need to play with your pH levels before we get into winter and growth st starts to slow down, you can go ahead and be closer to the proper pH levels before we even get into spring and not even have to worry about it. Readjust, retest in spring, see where that Nat Magic Cow Plus has helped you or not kicked in fully yet. Check out the products below. So uh, let me know your thoughts here at the Project Lawn. I think we're looking good. I think we're trending in the right direction. That makes me happy from where we were. So God bless you guys. Hope you have a great weekend. We're gonna have a great weekend here and hopefully we'll get to catch you Monday with another video. God bless you.